And the best advice for drivers is to stay home. Now, if you need to head out, take it slow. KGW's Devin Haskins is out in Drive 8 this noon. Devin, you've witnessed drivers struggle to get around in these icy conditions. Yeah, uh, right now we're in downtown Portland. So we spent most of the mornings on the highways and freeways circling Portland and up in Vancouver. So we decided to come into downtown Portland. And as you can see, the roads are snow covered. It's pretty indicative of what we saw all morning long on what pretty much every road looks like around the area. It is hills like this as you try and get your way up, like we're on Broadway right now, uh, heading south. These small little hills causing problems, something we saw drivers struggle with, especially when they hit those icy patches. For muck buses to shut down off and on ramps that were causing issues for big trucks. It was an icy and slick morning for what turned out to be a relatively quiet Friday morning commute. Around 8 a.m., a semi truck crashed into a barrier, shutting down the Nyberg exit of northbound I-5 for hours. Then, just after 9 a.m., a double trailer semi causing traffic to back up as it became stranded on the ramp leading to the Markham Bridge. We saw a few cars try to avoid the mess and back down the freeway on ramp from McAdam Avenue and then take the downtown exit. Cars were held up for a bit and semis too, but eventually were able to get around it. The semi finally got moving around 10 this morning. Trucks weren't the only ones dealing with the icy roads. This C-Tran bus slid off the I-205 off ramp to the 134th Avenue X in the Salmon Creek area of Vancouver. This all happening around 6 o'clock this morning. The driver of the bus saying the freeways were fine, but once he hit the off ramp, it was more of an ice skating rink than a road. Within an hour, that bus was able to hop a small curb, continue on its normal routes. No matter where we drove this morning, from I-5 in Tualatin to 217 northbound and over the Sunset Hill, the highways and freeways were a slow, snow-covered icy drive.